there's a lot of players uh, changing crosshair like every month, every second week and stuff like that, which I don't have anything like to say against that. I think it's it's okay to change crosshair once in a while, but for me personally, I've been using the same crosshair for quite some time now. For the size of the crosshair, it's just one, so it's pretty small crosshair, but a pretty small crosshair if you if you want to click them hits. It's a, it's a really good crosshair, um, and for the color I use uh, blue, light blue, so that's four. Then also, as you can see in the middle, I have the dot as well, which I like pretty much. Uh, I remember when I was a young kid and I found out that you could uh, put a dot in your crosshair, I thought it was cheating, because then you could <laughs> more easily get the headshots, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not really cheating, but I, I like the dot, so there's also the crosshair style. And then I just had the default one before. You can try and change like some other players have like Crosshair Style 5, then it will move uh, when you crouch or like move. But I like it just having like default static all the time, so that's the form one. Um, and for the thickness, I use zero. I like it just like clean and small, so yeah. Just And then there's also the important thing to remember like the gap. They're just like use minus two. Uh, because then with this crosshair, as you can see, it just feels fits really perfect. Yeah, that's my crosshair. And for the DPI, for the mouse, I use uh, 400 as well. First of all, I use uh, mouse sensitivity. I have 2.6. Some would say it's a bit on the higher end. I would agree, but I don't change at all. I feel comfortable with it, and that what, that's what you should do as well. Find a sensitivity that feels good for you and just stick with it, because changing it too much can create like too many viabilities that can change. I like personally for the uh, Zoe uh, monitors, they have like these pretty fun, uh, they have this, these uh, cool modes, different modes. But yeah, I personally like using like the FPS one, which suits really good for Counter-Strike. But there's like all these sort of different modes, which I really like about the screen. Like you can go to FPS 2 as well, FPS 3, Gamer 1, Gamer 2, like every, every single uh, like mode they have in there, which is pretty nice. With the FPS1 mode, you have the Diagon, which is also a really cool feature that Zoe has added. So having that from Premium is, is nice. And brightness, I always have a 100 for that as well. And uh, Black Equalizer is a thing that I've always liked as well. It's a color vibrance, 14. Also nice to get some color in there. Can't be too gray when playing. Uh, low blue light on zero before going to bed, so that's a pretty cool feature as well that Zoe has added. But uh, when playing, I, I like to keep it on zero. Then we got the Gamma. I have it on two, I always have it on two. It changes a bit of the colors as well, but I prefer uh, Gamma too. It's just a really, really cool screen with a lot of features you can change for yourself personally. So yeah, user define is also something like you can go in and touch yourself, like what kind of colors do you want, so that's what I like. So for the resolu resolution endgame, uh, I'm kind of an, of an old school guy. I use the uh, black bar still, which is not preferred by that many. Some players still do, uh, I do at least. Just like the normal 4x3, and then I play 10, 24 uh, times 7, 68. I've always enjoyed black bars. It just makes you like more focus on the center of the screen, if you ask me. And yeah, I'm, I'm just, I am enjoy like the low resolution in general. It's, it's an old thing, but yeah, uh, I like to stick to it. Video settings, I have pretty much everything on low as well. I have the global shadow quality, I have that on medium, and I think that's a must. Like a few years back, I had it uh, on uh, very low, I think, actually, which was quite a uh, mistake. For example, on train, people are above you on a map or something like that, and you have it on low, you can't see the shadow. So that's why it's important to have it at least on medium. But other than that, it's I have them the most of them on low. See you in the next episode of Zoe's Esports class. Play like a pro.